Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man? Wait a minute, that's another movie altogether because today we're going to be talking about the great and powerful Oz. Hello there and welcome back to RealScreenReviews.com. I am movie critic Nick Yakabuchi, and our next trailer review is for Disney's Oz the Great and Powerful. Now this film is set to be released in the spring of 2013 and stars James Franco in the title role. This movie also features Mila Kunis, Rachel Weisz, Michelle Williams, and comes to us from director Sam Raimi. I will actually start right there with director Sam Raimi who seems to be a perfect man to bring this tale to life. After starting his film career in the horror and darker tales the likes of the Evil Dead movies and Darkman, Sam Raimi has proven that he can successfully helm a standout drama with a simple plan, as well as spinning a web of worldwide success with the Spider-Man trilogy. What makes this such a perfect fit for Raimi are, I believe, to be two things. Number one is that he's such a visionary director and loves to give his audience something wonderful to see, and with examples like Spider-Man or Army of Darkness, you just have great visuals to entertain the viewers. Number two is that he's a remarkable storyteller. In addition to films that look well above average, you also have Spider-Man 2 and A Simple Plan, and these were story-driven dramas before they were anything else. This really does seem like a perfect fit and I hope that he does not let us down with this project. Now this takes me to lead actor James Franco that is no stranger to Sam Raimi having worked with him previously on the Spider-Man movies. Now he can hold a film by himself and a dramatic one at that as he did in 127 hours, he just can't hold a live action Oscar telecast. He gets to bring to life this character of Oz and gets to expand on the principles set forth in the 1939 film. In that classic feature, Oz was an older gentleman, but here we're introduced to a much younger man. Also in the original Wizard of Oz, we saw Dorothy as the film's lead character, and now Franco gets to take over and embellish and create something new. I guess it's kind of like only getting to know the character of Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. He seems to be the sort of illusionist slash con artist that we only briefly knew in that classic story, but this trailer really leaves you wanting to know more about him. Then as the preview continues on, it seems to incorporate many of the elements that we do remember so well from the classic film of the late 1930s. We get to see a storm that sweeps our hero from a black and white setting to a wonderful and colorful land of beauty. He is of course traveling by hot air balloon and is wearing the top hat that he displayed so well in the previous feature. Upon arriving in this grand and astounding location, we realize that he is in a place where items can hover right in front of your eyes and a destination that seems to have no direction at all. However, what stands out to me more than anything else are the unique and amazing creatures that come to life upon the wizard's arrival. Flying fairies and winged monkeys are just two things that stand out and Oz really wouldn't be complete without witches. There is a good one that stands in white, a bad one that stands in black, and a new one that we've never seen before. Michelle Williams, Rachel Weisz, and Mila Kunis step into these roles and look to bring their own magical touches to each of them, but I would say that Rachel Weisz seems to be having the most fun as she appears to encompass the famous role of the Wicked Witch of the West. Even though we get glimpses of the famed Emerald City and other images that resonate from the first film, Oz the Great and Powerful seems to be incorporating its own original spin on this very well-known tale. It appears to be much darker than its predecessor, and even though I've read that there are some songs, this is definitely not going to be a musical. I must admit that I do have one reservation that occurred to me while I was viewing this trailer. The extreme resemblance to Tim Burton's take on the classic Alice in Wonderland that he brought to the big screen just a few years ago. Though visually stunning, I have always thought that Burton's Wonderland was just a misfire for both him and lead Johnny Depp. Even though it was a huge financial success, my opinion has always been that the only good thing about it was Helena Bonham Carter. I just hope that Raimi and Franco bring more substance to this fantasy adventure than Alice did to Wonderland. I have put a link to the official trailer in the description box below if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself. And that's going to have to suffice until next March when we all get to see Oz the Great and Powerful in its entirety. And remember people, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention.